Hey all here OS Reviews, you're watching our video first look, and a quick review of the Cygrand ECG Monitor and Analysis Chest Strap. The name is a mouthful, but it's essentially a heart rate monitor that you wear on your chest, and it's using ECG or electrocardiograph. It's using electrodes uh, that contacts your skin, and it's closer to medical grade lab equipment, uh, which gives you more precise measurements compared to something like a cheap fitness tracker that uses an optical sensor. It's a completely different technology. Uh, this will also give you better tracking continuously so you'll be able to read it on a graph uh, so if you're doing a particular activity and you want to track uh, your data points uh, over that period of time this might be a better bet um, so it gives you about 98 percent accuracy using its proprietary algorithms and the hardware here and it's compatible using android and ios you simply need to download a free app on your phone and it connects using bluetooth uh, this one sells on gearbest for about 50 dollars which uh, isn't bad it's about the same as you would pay from a premium fitness tracker or smartwatch um, and the benefit here of course is you can you can still use a traditional watch uh, or wear something on your wrist and this is simply tucked underneath your shirt uh, no one re will really notice it has a 200 milliamp hour capacity battery that takes two hours to charge and afterwards you should be able to use it for you know about a week before you need to recharge it again there's a standby time of roughly six months so pretty decent battery performance and it's also going to be sweat proof uh, as well as compatible with other uh, apps that are already on the market, such as Silver Runner, Nike Plus, uh, Map My Run, My Fitness Pal, things like that, uh, which can integrate third-party uh, devices and uh, still track uh, again your location in terms of GPS. So the packaging here is very simple. It has kind of an interesting look to the box. There's a QR code that you can scan to download the app, and there's some basic specifications printed on the sides. In here, we just have ECG belt, and underneath we have just the tracker, which uh, is docked onto this charger magnetically using these two pogo contact pins and uh, there's simply a micro usb port on the back that you need to connect to power to charge it and there's a rubber feet that prevents the dock from sliding around on a surface or a desk here we have the strap itself uh, which is made out of this uh, felt material and it snaps on into these two holes uh, afterwards you can kind of adjust the length uh, and it's a pretty elastic stretchable material underneath here we have the instructions that's uh, printed in this paper uh, it's also documented both in English as well as in Chinese, and it tells you how to correctly position it uh, so it gets the best uh, measurement. Under here, we also have the micro USB charging cable, and that's it. Taking a look at the design and setup, the tracker itself is made out of a polycarbonate plastic that has an LED light on the top that will flash red when it's charging and stop flashing when it's completed. There's also a vibration sensor or motor uh, so that it will vibrate once to tell you that it's correctly powered on the first time when you insert it into the strap. On the back, you can see some basic kind of contact uh, points. Otherwise, uh, looking at the strap, this is actually where all these sensors are located. It's not on the tracker itself. That really just sends the signal or the data over Bluetooth to your phone. And these are the two contact points that touches your chest. The strap itself, though, is completely waterproof. So you can put it into a washer and dryer and it will survive. But you have to remove the uh, Bluetooth module before you do that. This module is just sweat proof, but you can't submerge it underwater for things like swimming. Here's the app. It's called HeyBelt. The first time that you launch it, you have to sign up with your email just to encrypt your information and create a password. Afterwards, it's pretty easy to pair. It will find the uh, ECG tracker using Bluetooth and you simply can tap to pair it. You can actually pair multiple sets as well using the app. The interface is very clean and it gives you a few different options. On the right here, you can tap on ECG monitor to get a direct measurement, either a fast mode, which is a, uh, a kind of automatic checkup. It will record your heart rate over a period of 30 seconds and then give you a statistic in terms of the range and the, uh, the height as well as the lowest. Uh, manual mode, you can customize the interval of the time that will begin the measurement and uh, it will continue this for again 26 seconds. When it's done, it's going to have a pop-up that says it's in the process of generating the ECG report, then it should launch into the data. So we can see that we have access to this entire graph that we can look at uh, in terms of the seconds and we can also tap here to take a look at different visualization of the same uh, graph on a continuous spectrum here. And we can also see the result in terms of the min, the max, and also the average, and our fatigue analysis. You know, if we're really tired or if not tired, uh, it, there's gonna be a bar that shows up based on our past measurements that we've done with the device. And you can correct it by tapping on uh, what you're actually feeling so it remembers it. Uh, I can also tap on delete if I want to, and that will get rid of the uh, 
overall test. I can tap on the tab here to take a look at the past measurements that I've done, and it's sorted by uh, days of the week. So for instance, if I wanna take a look at this one, which gives me again that same information as well as my fatigue analysis and BMI uh, based on averages as well as my own averages that I've tested out with the device in the past. So that actually works surprisingly well. Um, under the user center, that's where, where you'll find your age as well as your profile Im information and device management, you can see that we're connected to this tracker automatically and the battery percentage you can see is pretty much at full capacity right now and also the connection status. Uh, so going back here and entering the middle mode here, this is where you can do timed runs and other specific activities. Uh, what's interesting here is there's news articles. Uh, this is actually just going to open up a page in a browser that the company has written. It's a blog post that tells you how to optimize and do a few kind of exercise poses while using the tracker as well as suggestions and tips. So hopefully these are kind of active blogs that will be updated as uh, the authors uh, put more posts along, but you can tell that there are a few that you can tap on directly from this page. Up top it says run, and this is because it's gonna simply list uh, kind of all of our uh, timed runs while we are wearing the ECG device. It can also of course bind to other third-party apps such as the Nike Plus uh, or My Running Pal apps that we talked about. But looking just at their own app here, I can tap on the run key on the bottom here and it allows me to go through a few different modes. For instance, a normal running mode, I can also set a specific time for my run. I can set a specific distance for my run. If I want to, uh, I can also change it so I, it automatically pauses when I stop uh, for recording the measurements. I can also tap on run indoors if I don't want to use GPS uh, information. So if I'm satisfied, I can tap on start, and this is what the interface will look like. It's just going to start, it will tell you your speed, it will also tell you your calories burned, and your heart rates per minute down below here, and the time that's elapsed. I can pause it as well as continue it, and in terms of speed, it's just basically using the phone's uh, GPS information, uh, and there's a small accelerometer built onto the sensor as well that can detect kind of steps and calories burned, but it's unable, of course, to, to detect uh, the speed that you're going at. Um, so you can see that it actually works quite well, especially if it's in conjunction with your smartphone that has the GPS signal, so you can see your path on a map. And when you're satisfied, you can tap on end and hold on it until this ring turns red completely. And in this case, there's no information saved because it found that we actually didn't move uh, at all. So uh, there's no real data to, to save. It gives me a quick visualization of the distance I've gone as well as calories burned, average speed, and I can also tap on more to learn about my heart rates that I burned and also uh, kind of my runner level if you get into uh, more of a you know pro level athlete, you can also of course change these icons depending on your speed and calories burned statistics. Finally, I can tap on that to share these uh, statistics to friends and family using social media. Most of these, however, are Chinese services like QQ or WeChat. So Twitter and Facebook aren't integrated here yet, but that should be a very quick fix. The results tab also gives me a quick indicator of what measurements were healthy and which ones were kind of sub healthy or suboptimal and you know occasional arrhythmia if my heartbeat was going a little too fast, a little too slow, uh, depending on the average data. You can tap on it, of course, to see more and of course consult your doctor for a more precise reading. So it definitely gives you more uh, medical grade and detailed statistics of your heart to look at compared to a uh, traditional fitness tracker. So that's been our review of the ECG belt, also known as the Hay belt, uh, a low-cost electrocardiograph that measures your heart rate in a continuous manner and will also give you warnings if any irregular rhythms uh, that could be a sign of an impending uh, you know, problem or, or perhaps disease. And so the fact that it gives you all those uh, statistics as well as data to manipulate with the app is actually quite convenient. The tracker itself, of course, is very accurate and it syncs well using Bluetooth with the phone. Uh, one thing though that I'm not a huge fan of is the fact that you do have to remove this from the band every time if you want to wash the band or charge the uh, actual sensor itself. And although it is small and lightweight, it still makes for a small hump underneath your shirt since it needs to be contacting your skin. Still, uh, it overall is still fairly comfortable if you're running, jogging, and uh, going out in the day-to-day -day and tracking your activities using the device. Uh, you can check out more details about this in our article, but for now this has been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews.